And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mack, back for another preview of the Dallas Cowboys offseason. I'm going to talk about the cornerbacks today. Now, I know you could say the defensive backs, the cornerbacks, and the safeties, but I think it's important that we uh, separate the two because the cornerbacks pretty much are going to be fine. You're going to have... Um, Trayvon Diggs, Kelvin Joseph, Nashawn Wright, who's looking like a bust right now, but I think he played decently. Um, I'm not quite sure about Anthony Brown. I think he might have one more year. I know Jordan Lewis is up. I'm trying to think Maurice Kennedy is up because he was only a one year. Um, I believe that's it as far as the cornerbacks are concerned um if if i could if you can bring back jordan lewis for cheap do it you just i just don't know if you can bring him back for cheap not quite sure about um maurice kennedy because during training camp he was playing like amazing like he like picked off Dak Prescott like every like every day in training camp so and yet he barely ever saw the field so I, I'm I'm not quite sure but um I'm not just I don't know his situation Nation Wright like I said we're hoping he gets better um they were looking for him to be more of a Richard Sherman kind of guy um, of course, Trayvon Diggs, I mean, need we say any more? Um, I think the issue with Trayvon, though, I don't think Trayvon's issue is he can't cover because pro football focus ranked him as one of the worst cornerbacks in the league, even though he had 11 interceptions. But he's a risk taker. Um, he got caught on double moves like all season long. So he's a risk taker. And so the question you ask, do you want him to be more like Byron Jones, who shuts down a side of the field but never gets an interception? Or do you get interceptions but might give up a big play here and there? Um, And mind you, if you don't remember, he shut down Terry McLaurin. So... I think in the two games when they faced Washington, Terry McLaurin only had two catches between the two games. And mind you, in one of those games, he completely shut him down. So I don't think Trayvon's issue is that he can't cover. I just think he's a risk taker. And it's only his second year in the league. He's going to get better. He's going going to study, get better. He's going to be a great player. Anthony Brown played better this year. He played better. The Really, the worst game he had was against the Raiders with all those pass interference calls. Um, he's technically, by numbers, he's technically the fastest on the team. So when Deshaun Jackson was beating him down the field, it was kind of like he had to do what he had to do. I get it. So, um, But I think his coverability is fine. I think... It's with Anthony Brown, it's just it's one of those he'll go like five or six games, you'll never hear from him, which means he has a good game. And then he'll just have that one game and it's like, is he really a good cornerback? Like, you know, he he's he is the definition of out of sight, out of mind. Because we forget he's on the field and we forget he covers very well. But will he? Will he be a perennial starting cornerback for this team we'll see and then of course the draft is coming up and there's always you need more corners this is a passing league corners are what rule the league now so um i think they're gonna go ahead and let jordan lewis go unless they can bring him back for like really cheap i think they're gonna go ahead and let um, jordan lewis go i think maurice kennedy will be going to everybody else i think is staying put so as far as the, the cornerbacks are concerned i think i think we'll be all right um we got young we we got youth at cornerback which is good 
which is good. We don't have any about any old guys. So, but um, yeah, as far as the cornerbacks concerned, I think we're gonna be all right. So y'all just, you know, keep up the good work. And it's crazy. It, you, the cornerbacks were the one part of the team we thought wasn't going to play well this season. They ended up being one of the best, but that's not the hero there. It's your boy, Billy Mack, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.